What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you what's in my camera bag. The camera bag that I use is a regular Amazon Basics, just regular camera bag. I'm looking into maybe getting a different camera bag, so if you have suggestions for good ones, leave them in the comment section below. Um, I'm going to take you guys through from the back pocket all the way through the front of the camera sorry the front of the bag where my actual camera stuff is in so in this back flap i have my uh, macbook air it's like really old i think like 2012 or something like that um but in final cut you can edit 4k video i can edit like everything just off of an external drive in final cut uh, and i also leave my sd card reader in there or an sd card reader in there and then that's it for that back pouch. Then we'll get to the main compartment. I'm gonna open this up. This is what the inside of my camera bag looks like usually. Um, and I'm gonna just take this stuff out one by one and go through what it all does and what it is. Yeah, what usually goes here, what's missing is the A6300 um, and the Sigma 16mm 1.4 lens. I'm using those two to film this video so they're not in the bag, but they usually go here. And then I'm going to go through what all this other stuff is. And something that's behind there, it's not always in my camera bag, but I figure I might as well talk about it, um, is my film camera. I have a Canon uh, AE-1 that I use sometimes, but it's not always in my camera bag. I just take it out sometimes when I feel like uh, trying to be fancy and shoot film. <laughs> so the uh, main camera body that I use for photography is my uh, Canon 1DS Mark II. Um, a lot of people found this channel from my Canon, you know, 5D Classic video. If you're curious on why I use this camera a lot instead of the 5D Classic, uh, you know, just leave a comment in the comment section below and I can make a video about that or, you know, maybe we can have a discussion about that in the comments. Um, and on this camera body is my Nifty 50, the Canon 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. Um, it's a lens that I pretty much use most of the time, but I have other lenses and I'm going to go through those from the wide end to the most telephoto end. Um, you know, now, yeah, I can do that. So I have my wide angle lens. This is a, uh, Tokina 16 to 28, uh, lens for Canon mount. Uh, and it's a f2.8 like general like wide lens so it goes from 16 which is pretty wide to 28 which is like not super wide but like still wide and then getting a little bit tighter i have my trusty dusty young nuo 35 mil uh, f2 lens it's a copy of the canon uh 35 mil f2 lens kind of it is inferior it's very loud at focusing but it's not a terrible lens especially if you're mostly using it for like instagram stuff like that you can't tell how unsharp it is not that it's like ridiculously unsharp it's not as sharp as like you know a sigma 35 art lens or like you know a much more expensive lens don't expect this to be a sharp but it's actually pretty decent i did a review on it if you want to see my review of this lens um link in the description uh, or maybe i'll put it in a card or something yeah so those are my you know wide ish kind of lenses that takes me all the way from 16 to 35 then i got the 50 mil 1.8 that i use a lot of the time uh, most of the time and then I have this beat up old uh, Sigma 20 not sorry I was about to say 24 to 70 70 to 200 it's a really old lens but like it works I got it for pretty cheap on eBay and it's a 24 to 70 for my full frame camera it's it's like okay it doesn't have like VC or I uh, you know no image stabilization anything so it's not like the best thing for like I wouldn't suggest it as a modern photography lens but like I got it for pretty cheap and it works 
So, you know, yeah. <laughs> so now let's talk about um, the uh, stuff that I use with the Sony. Of course, right now I'm using the A6300 and I'm shooting on the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 lens. Um, and I also still have the Sigma, sorry, not the Sigma, the Sony um, 16 millimeter and I have it with the wide angle converter. Uh, I always keep this in the bag just in case I need like a really wide gimbal shot or just anything that's like really wide because the 16 mil that I'm using to film right now is about a 24 mil equivalent which is pretty wide but when you put this on there I think it's like a 18 which makes it like crazy wide. Um, I also uh, have the uh, Sigma, oops, where does it say the info? Anyway, there we go. The Sigma uh, 30 mil 1.4 lens for Sony E-mount. Um, between the 16 and this one, I uh, pretty much get everything done that I need to. Um, Autofocus wise, like I pretty much use those lenses primarily when I'm shooting photos um, and for video when I need autofocus. And on the back of this lens, by the way, on the back of my wide lens, what I had on there is another item, um, the Sigma MC11. That's the adapter that I, that I use to put my uh, Canon glass onto my Sony bodies. And it works pretty well. Um, it even works sometimes with the Yongnuo 35, but it's kind of inconsistent. Like sometimes it just doesn't focus. So that's not the best, but uh, yeah. Also, when I'm filming on my A6300, sometimes I'll use old manual focus glass with a speed booster. So right here I have a focal reducer and a Canon FD uh, 50 mil 1.4 lens. And I have a wider, so when I have the speed booster on there on the Sony, it's pretty much like a full frame field of view, full frame depth of field. So it gets really shallow and cool looking. And it has that like vintage look to it because it's a little bit hazier than modern lenses. Um, I also have this uh, 28 mil lens. Um, just a random one that I got. I've had this forever. I think this was the first vintage lens that I ever bought off eBay and I used to use it on my Panasonic GF2, um, which I don't have. It's not usually in my camera bag. A friend of mine is borrowing it, but that's not something I put in my camera bag all the time, even though it's actually still a solid camera. Maybe I'll make a video about that in a little bit. I honestly so this is like a tangent, but some people really probably felt like I like didn't like Panasonic because of my GX85 review and I actually really like Panasonic. The Panasonic was the first camera that I bought with my own money and I'm currently like really looking at the G9 like I kind of want to buy that camera. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, this lens I've had forever I used to use on my Panasonic, but now I use it with a speed booster on my Sony. Uh, when I'm shooting video, I really don't use these uh, old manual lenses for photo. Okay, and then on the telephoto end, so I got the normal, that's the 50, then I got a wider one, that's the 28, and then the telephoto lens that I'll use is the um, 135, it's a 135-2.8 lens um, from Canon, uh, you know, old Canon FD lens, and that lens is pretty cool. Uh, the depth of field is very shallow and it looks awesome uh, so yeah that's mostly it for cameras and lenses and then I also usually have one or two flashes uh, this is the Godox um, this is the V860 for Sony but it works with my Canon trigger too and it uses a uh, lithium-ion battery uh, so the recycle times are a little bit better than this TT600 um, which uses AA batteries. Um, I usually just have rechargeable AA's that I'll take with me as well. Um, and you know, the appropriate battery for this. And I'll generally only use one flash, but if I have help or if I have like the time to set up, sometimes I'll use two. 
Um, I'm generally not to the point where I'm doing like three light setups or like, you know, two lights and a reflector, stuff like that, unless I'm shooting in a studio because like I'm just too running like I never would have the time <laughs> to really set all that stuff up and then move it around if I gotta you know move to a slightly different location that would just be way too much so at most I'm usually taking two flashes in the bag with me um, and then there's a couple of other things that I'll take with me sometimes that will be in this front pouch of my bag so that's this, this front part. So in the very, very front, there's this uh, little flap here and here. And I keep like batteries. So these are like uh, AA batteries. I got a bunch of these that I use. I have spare Sony batteries for my A6300. Um, I have an SD card holder. I'm gonna get a better one soon. This one came free with something. Um, what else? You know, the battery for my uh, Godox flash. These are the batteries that I use for my gimbal. Um, and in the front is also my gimbal. So in this pocket, I'll usually, like I don't always bring it, but sometimes I will bring my gimbal with me. It's a Fuchek MG Lite uh, gimbal. It's okay. I never did a review of it because I didn't honestly think it was that great. There are like some issues with it, but it works enough. It's just kind of like maybe harder to work with than some of the other gimbals. But at the time, I got it on a really good deal. Uh, so, you know, no complaints. Let me, uh, yeah, I like that backlight. <laughs> But yeah, so no complaints, uh, but it, you know, it's an okay gimbal. If you were thinking about getting it, I would say maybe save and get like, you know, one of the very highly rated gimbals because this is sometimes frustrating to work with like the software on it and stuff like that. Uh, what else do I have in here? Uh, I have uh, straps, so like on all my camera bodies, uh, I'll put Peak Design, uh, you know, little knobbies, I don't know what these are called, and I have the Peak Design attachments that I put on all of my straps, and I also have like a wrist strap that I'll sometimes use. I got some uh, fairy lights in here with that too. Every once in a while, I'll have the prism in here. I don't have it in here right now. But, you know, maybe if I do a room tour or something, you guys will see, like, some of the other things that I have. Because I have more stuff that I'll bring, but I don't always have them. This is, like, the, you know, what I always bring that just fits in this backpack. That's what this video is, not everything that I totally use. I got a charging station over there that you guys can't see off camera. I got drawers with some additional gear over there. You guys will probably see that stuff in the video I made when I was uh, cleaning my room. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be out. Uh, I don't know when, but you know, sometime this month, I hope. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much what's in my camera bag. That's most of the gear that I use to shoot everything. Uh, most of the Canon stuff is for photo and then I have my Sony stuff for video. But you know, I'm looking at, like I really want to fall in love with another Panasonic. So I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on a G9 and try that. And maybe that'll end up in my camera bag, who knows? I know for sure that Mavic Air at some point, I don't know when, is gonna end up in my camera bag because I have a, uh, Ooh. This is my other camera bag. Sometimes I will take this bag and then I'll put like my Sony body in here with like a couple of lenses and I'll shoot some stuff. But this is actually my drone bag. So I have one big pouch in there that's currently empty. Uh, you know, because I haven't been flying my drone that much. My whole area where I live, I live near Washington, D.C you can't fly your drone. So every time I want to fly my drone, I got to drive a little distance out to be in an area where I'm allowed to actually fly, which sucks. So I don't like, I'm not always using my drone. Uh, yeah. And it's like just cumbersome to carry a lot of the time, but I have this drone bag, uh, 
Uh, and you've seen my drone footage in some videos. Uh, if you want to see what that's like, check out my uh, Sunflower Experience vlog. Uh, it's on my channel. I'll put a link in the description or put it in a card or something. And in this bag, I have a little compartment where I put the uh, remote control for my drone. I've got some extra propellers in here too and the USB cable that goes with it. And then in this main compartment here is my Phantom 3 standard. That's the drone that I have now. Um, but if I got a Mavic Air, it would be like super finesse to just carry that around instead of like this whole gigantic bag. Uh, and then there goes the battery, the charger. Um, yeah, so sometimes I'll take this with me. I was using it a lot when it was, uh, you know, nicer out over the summer. So when it gets nicer out, I'll be using it a lot again. But maybe, um, I don't know. I don't know when I'll get a Mavic Air, but at some point I'm going to get a Mavic Air and then this is going to go bye-bye. Maybe I'll give it to someone or like sell it I don't know but yeah this is also like another one of my camera bags but it's mostly a drone bag with one pouch where I can fit like one camera and a couple of lenses or you know whatever I need for that particular shoot it's kind of an L all right, so if you guys like that video, uh, give this a thumbs up. If you have any questions about stuff, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, and if you are interested in any of the gear, the stuff that I use, uh, my kit page is in the link in uh, the description. And you can go there and you can get links to like all of the stuff that I actually use, all the stuff that's in this camera bag. Um, yeah, you know, a lot of people ask me what I shoot on, stuff like that. So now you guys know uh, all the stuff that I use mostly. But there's some other things. There's a couple other things. Like right now, I keep looking up in this direction because there's a monitor that I use with my A6300 when I'm filming these types of videos. And it's also a recorder that I use, you know, when I'm doing things. So I have uh, redundancy in my data, you know, footage in two places. Um, you know, with the cage and all that stuff. So if you guys are interested in that or a uh, tour of like the studio space behind there and like my room in general, you know, let me know in the description, uh, not in the description, in the comments and I can do that. Uh, yeah, but if you're new here, check out some of my other videos. I do photography stuff, video stuff, uh, music stuff, and you know, just generally, you know, being creative out here making stuff uh, if you like what you see go ahead and subscribe yeah I don't know how to end this I got like free LUTs and stuff and uh, well not the free LUTs not out yet oops spoiler alert I'm gonna give away a free LUT but it's not ready yet I want to make sure it like works on a lot of different types of footage not just my camera so but that's coming in the how to I color grade my footage video uh, anyway I think that's it. Um, yeah, you know, like this video, subscribe, comment, all that. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, yeah, I'm on Instagram. Uh, I have a Facebook page, even though I'm not that active there. Uh, you know, Instagram is where I'm at most of the time. I also have Twitter, so I'll respond on Twitter as well. Mm, links are going to be in the link that's in my bio. Thanks for watching this video. Keep your creative mindset. Keep making stuff that you want to make. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.